An American M1 Abrams tank appears to be fighting in Russia's Kursk region, Business Insider reports, citing a recently published video from the 47th Mechanized Brigade. The publication emphasized that the Abrams was created during the Cold War to fight the Soviets, and now, after several decades of service, it appears to have reached Russian soil. The video shows an Abrams tank engaged in combat with an M2 Bradley IFV. The 47th Brigade called the US-provided armored duo a terrible weapon for the invaders. It is indicated that several open intelligence sources and Ukrainian media outlets have determined that this battle was captured in the village of Novoivanovka in the Kursk region of Russia. While other Western armored fighting vehicles have already been deployed to Kursk, the video released by the 47th Brigade appears to be the first known instance of Abrams tanks being used there, the publication said. George Barros, head of the Geospatial Intelligence Group and Russia analyst at the Institute for the Study of War, also said that this is definitely the first time an Abrams tank has been spotted in the Kursk region. Business Insider recalls that the Abrams is a third-generation main battle tank that was designed and built with the Soviets in mind. Robert Greenway, a former U.S. Army Abrams operator and defense expert at the Heritage Foundation, previously told BI that the tank was made for Central European planes against Soviets, adding that it was built to kill tanks. The Abrams has been in service since the 1980s and has logged extensive combat experience in the decades since. The U.S. sent 31 M1A1 variants to Ukraine last fall, and earlier this month, Australia said it would send nearly 50 of its own in a move that would more than double Kiev's existing inventory. Abrams tanks are highly advanced and heavily armored, but Ukraine received older export models without some of the latest upgrades, like the newest armor. It has taken extra precautions and outfitted them with added layers of protection to help defend against inbound munitions like rockets, missiles, and exploding drones. Both the Abrams and the Bradley can be seen outfitted with some additional armor in the recent footage said to be from Kursk. However, despite the added protection, the Abrams is still vulnerable to the same threats that have challenged other armored vehicles on the battlefield. Some open-source estimates suggest Ukraine has lost up to 16 tanks, but this has not been confirmed. Israel's military released footage on Tuesday said to show Hezbollah fighters firing at Israeli troops in Lebanon. Another video showed an explosion said to be targeting Hezbollah fighters who had barricaded themselves in the building that was destroyed. Troops could be seen operating in a village and apparently confiscating Hezbollah weapons. The latest videos come as Hezbollah launched a barrage of rockets into central Israel on Tuesday setting off air raid sirens in the country's most populated areas, but causing no apparent damage or injuries. The Israeli military said projectiles were fired from Lebanon into Israel and said most were intercepted by Israel's missile defense system. One landed in an open area. 
The Israeli military said that at the same time about 15 projectiles were fired from Lebanon into northern Israel. The rocket fire came as Israel stepped up its strikes in Lebanon, targeting a Hezbollah on financial institution, and as Israeli troops push ahead in their invasion of southern Lebanon. Thank you.